this thing on? I sure fucking hope so. I hope I still know how to stream. I, I, I do. I might. It might be broken. I might be broken. I think I need to reinstall uh, Stream Elements, too. I think that's something I need to do. I'm going to quickly share this out. That we're live with the Aronovich billboard. I'm really excited. I didn't plan on doing this live. Uh, just some life uh, issues got in the way, and you know now I've got to do this live. So I had to change the the presentation up a little bit, but uh, you know, yeah, I can't wait to pop off and do this sharing on Facebook I've learned though is easier from my phone than it is uh, doing it elsewhere because like I can click on the video right and then I just hit share and when I hit share to a group bam it's right there being on my phone during stream but um i'm trying to write a nice uh small it's not gonna be small but a nice small paragraph to uh to share this with All at once. Look at that shit. Professional. Professional. All with the same tag. That's how great I am. I've got to go through... If I can put, pull this up over here. Like, like a little... Yeah, can I put this here? Oh, that's going to be so handy if I can have the same thing open on both monitors. Oh, so handy. I just, just need to. Here's the kicker. I just need to know what's coming. Something just like that. Fucking that. That would be perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. Exactly what I'm looking for. They, again, they've changed the... Facebook integration stuff, and I'm not sure that I like it. I'm not 100% sure <clears throat> that I'm a fan of the new, the, the change, of the changes they've made to this. So I got my notebook handy, got everything I need, I think. Let's go ahead and get kind of started. Oh, man, I am glad that the presentation looks as good as it does. Uh, it was different. It was completely different. It was a compiling of images, and uh, I was going to edit them all together, and it was going to be a video thing that I was going to play, and then we were going to have, like, an office hours afterwards, and uh, I was going to play Modern Warfare a little bit while we were, or Apex or something while we were doing that, and then, you know, things just happen. And now we're not doing that anymore. We're doing this, where it's live. So that's that's great. Um, so welcome, welcome. Uh, 
I am just beyond excited. I'm trying to contain my excitement so I can focus on doing this the right way. Um, <clears throat> so I guess first off is uh, thank you to uh, everyone who's followed us in our transitions through the years, right? We started over on YouTube under a completely different name. We stuck with that name for a while. And then we moved around a lot. We went to Twitch, we went to Mixer, uh, then we went back to Twitch, uh, and then back to Mixer, and then uh, tried a couple different things here and there. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff that never worked out because of my lack of dedication. This is where you guys come in this time around. Uh, I have a home base to keep myself uh, centered and focused on completing these projects, but that's not all I have. I also have you. Uh, and I'm hoping that, you know, for once in my life I can use harassment as a good thing, uh, and you guys can harass the shit out of me about how these projects are going to remind me to work on them. Uh, that's, that's the hope anyway. Uh, cause I have some cool stuff in here. Um, I'm not showing you guys everything that I want to do. Uh, that's a super long list. That presentation would take like 12 hours. But I'm, I've grabbed the, the, the few things that I think I can get done in the next year or so. And um, I've kind of set out to do things. And I've reached out and have started the process of just about each of these projects. Um, but before we dive into the big projects, the reason that you guys are even here, I do want to talk a bit about streaming. Um, taking on a project like this is going to cut in, or like these, I should say is going to cut into my streaming time. Um, I really don't want to limit my time with uh, friends and family any more than I already do. So therefore, I'm going to be cutting into the streaming time when I have to do things, um, which might result in me doing things at the same time. Um, there might be simultaneous, simultaneous things uh, going on. So I might be doing a chill stream where we're just talking like this one um about random shit that you guys want while i'm writing or while i'm laying out something or getting something ready those kind of streams might pop up more frequently than ever before uh but i do continue do plan on continuing to game and i sat down and i kind of started pondering uh which games that I've picked up and have kind of laid off of because I've been laying off streaming doing these projects, which which of those games do I want to keep going with? And so I've compiled a little list. Um, and that list is the continuing series list. Uh, I have three. Um, three kind of big things here, right? Uh, so we have what I would say are the three easiest things for me to be able to jump in and play at any given time. Uh, those three things are Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, because we have picked it up. I do enjoy the game. I just haven't had a moment to hop back into it with you guys. Uh, the Minecraft SMP, we've just joined. We've just gotten a base. We've just settled down. And we'll get into these individually a little bit more. Uh, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I loved the original Modern Warfare campaign. We may go back and play through the campaign of the original Modern Warfare, but I have twofold with that one, and we'll get into the Modern Warfare 2 stuff as well in this uh, in this thing. So let's start with Tiny Tina's Wonderland, right? Uh, we've been playing it. I've been playing it solo. I've been playing it with the wife. I love this game. I love the creators. I love the whole franchise of Borderlands, and this game is no exception. I really do like the addition of magic. I, I enjoy our magic build. I have a couple cool ideas. I did a second magic build. They kind of got a little further um, doing side quests mostly, trying not to spoil the story for myself so you guys can get a nice reaction. But um, yeah, I've, I've kind of figured out the route to take with our magic build, which is fantastic, right? Then why haven't you been doing it? Well, again, life gets in the way and I don't have time to do this stuff all the time but I do plan on returning to the Wonderlands it is a fantastic game if you have not played it or have not checked out our other streams of it I believe they are still up and you would be able to check that out and if they're not I do have them downloaded and I do plan on turning them into uh, 
into videos that you can find on YouTube later on. Uh, I've done that with Wrath, uh, and I've done that with a few other things. Uh, and even, I believe, there is a series still on YouTube from our Gaming Pro days. You can check that out, too. All the links are uh, able to be given to you by the bot that I haven't turned on. I knew I forgot something. I fucking knew I would forget something. Crazy ass me. But yeah, I, I love Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, I would say ranking the Borderlands games for me, right? It would be Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's, one, Borderlands 1, Borderlands 3, and then the pre-sequel on the bottom. I really don't like the pre-sequel. I'm just not a fan. I couldn't even play through it more than twice. I, I couldn't. We, we probably will at some point, but that doesn't mean that I want to. Uh, but we definitely will at some point. Moving on, though the Minecraft Assassin's Creed. You guys know I love Minecraft. I'm probably the only weird motherfucker in his 20s that still loves a game about blocks. And I cannot tell you why I love this game so much because there's really not a reason. I like how mundane it is. I can hop on with nothing planned and make the content. We could do a whole stream of us just mining, which we have done before. And it's still something. It still goes live. I still get to make commentary and hopefully talk with you guys. So I do enjoy this game more than anything. It is one of my favorites. Um, but in all honesty, if you haven't noticed already, that list is mostly the things that I can just hop into and are on my favorites list. I mean, they're, they're games that are easy to play. Um, they can be time-consuming or not, depending on how you play them. And I think that's really important, and I've really enjoyed sitting down and just playing uh, the games that I enjoy with you guys, and it gives me an excuse to play games more often than you may realize. But as far as the SMP goes, uh, we joined the real in-game SMP uh, probably two, two and a half months ago now. And we made a little base. I came up with some plans and stuff behind the scenes. I kind of have some stuff not ready to go, but stuff planned out. Uh, so maybe some resource gathering streams and stuff are in the future. Um, but yeah, I definitely, definitely have uh, a mega base idea ready. And the little town that we invaded, I, I kind of picked that place for a reason. Nobody else lives there, and I really want to do something kind of neat, um, bringing darkness to the overworld. So we're gonna we're gonna tamper a little bit with um, with the town itself and that structure. And so I can't wait to get that started too, uh, which I have already kind of started resource collecting for that a little bit, which is neat. I know you guys know that we've been kind of sort of turning it into a taiga. What I plan on doing is wrapping that taiga around the whole town. And then the closer you get to the center, the more nethery the town gets. And it's going to be huge. Uh, we're going to make it more into a city. Uh, we are going to buy some villager eggs so that way we can repopulate. It seems that most of all the population out there is dead. And then we're going to build a nice wall around the city. And we're going to increase that nether... Uh, and, and darkness and even maybe bring up some deep clay and kind of combine the two worlds of the underground and the nether in this one fascinating dark little place but i'm building it around the idea of the red nether trees and stuff being grown up top and then also the spruce trees and some dark oak maybe getting thrown in there to give us like a, a little bit of a darker green in there as well so that's the plan for the town as far as the mega build goes there's some uh, some uh, character lore there, so I won't give too much away there, but just know it's fucking huge, and it's going to take us forever to, uh, to complete, but I am excited. I hope you guys are 
to, or at least able to be excited. So that brings us to the last one, right? Modern Warfare 2. We just started Modern Warfare 2. I'm not going to call it quits yet. Uh, I am enjoying playing the campaign through with you guys. Um, I cannot wait. I know we are literally like two or three days. I believe two. One. It comes out tomorrow. Wow. Uh, so Modern Warfare 2 comes out tomorrow fully uh, for everyone to purchase. So if you haven't pre-ordered it and you haven't started playing the campaign, don't worry. We are just getting on the edge of that campaign. Feel free to hop in and watch the streams as we're going along and going through all of this. It's going to be insane. Uh, I've heard a lot about it. Um, haven't heard too many spoilers, thank goodness. I've been kind of avoiding those and tiptoeing around them. But um, I cannot wait to hop into the multiplayer. I don't even care if it's the same multiplayer premise and idea and setup and everything from the original Modern Warfare. I loved the original Modern Warfare's multiplayer. You guys know we played a metric shit ton of it, and I cannot wait to play more of that style of multiplayer with you guys, doing some hardcore search and destroy, hardcore everything, uh, and then touching on Warzone 2 and seeing if I like that. I do like Apex, um, and there's stuff about that later, but um, I, I just, I cannot get behind Warzone. I just can't do it. I don't know what it is. It's it's a lot of long range. And as you guys know from the Apex streams, I'm sure you guys have heard me say it about a thousand times. Long range isn't my thing. I, I can do up close combat. Um, barely okay. But long range? That count me out, man. That's, that's too many variables. Too much shit going on. And leading people. And now bullet drop off. No, it's, it's too much for me, man. I can never cut it as a sniper in the military. Because I can't do long range. It's just not going to happen. But I do look forward to finishing the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. And like I said, maybe we'll swing back around and hit up the original Modern Warfare campaign. I always thought it'd be cool to, to, to do both um, once I heard they were coming out with the Modern Warfare 2. So maybe, maybe that's something we can do. Now that we're done with the new, or I guess continuing, series that I plan on continuing, I think it's time to talk about the new stuff. That's what you're here for. You're not here to, to learn about what we're going to keep doing. You want to know what's coming, right? So we got... Oh, seems some of the information may have been scrubbed. Hmm. Maybe it's still cooking and it's not quite ready yet. So there are surprises, apparently. Maybe you should stay tuned. If you haven't already at this point, I'm full of surprises. You should know that by now. If you want to see what those surprises are and you haven't already, drop a follow. You'll be able to support the channel and see what's coming along with some of the bigger stuff on the tail end of this presentation that I think people are really going to be excited for. Moving right along, though. New series. Now, these are things that I'm going to be streaming that'll have this title. And you'll be able to know, okay, it's another episode of this. These are going to be directly uploaded, unedited, unfiltered to YouTube with thumbnail, a new, a nice thumbnail. And that's, that's the way I'm going to run these five, three, whatever new series. Uh, so starting off with, I'm just going to go down the list and then we'll talk about it, right? That's what I should have done the first time around. I think. I think I gave too much talking about games up front and I didn't have anything to talk about when we got to the site. But going down the list here, we got Fallout 76, Apex Bash, and Live in Action. Now, I do want to note, though, real quick, some of these are to fill the void of, oh, I didn't have time to prep for Minecraft. I'm not feeling Call of Duty. Or, you know, Wonderlands is great, but we're not leveled up enough. I don't want to do a level up stream right now. These are the games that are kind of on the back burner. They're going to be the grab bag games until we finish those three games four, or finish at least what I have planned. Uh, and then going into like a, a stage two planning stage, Modern Warfare 2 is like an add-on on the bottom of this list because multiplayer, I will always just be able to hop into a multiplayer match. And there will probably be a ton of multiplayer streams coming at you in the next couple weeks while we get our bearings and figure out what we like. And if we like the same stuff we did back in Modern Warfare 1. But 
these are going to be the games that are filler streams. Or I didn't have time to prep. Starting off with Fallout 76. I tried to reach out and maybe get some people to consistently play with me. And I haven't really gotten the response I was looking for. So I have no idea how well we're going to be able to, uh, to really do this one without it being solo. And if it is a solo play, that's fine. But if you'll remember, better keep your promises. I know, I know. I've got to keep up on the on the projects that I haven't even talked about yet. I'm not even fucking there, and, and I'm already being fucking told to keep my promises. But you're right. I do need to uh, to to own this one and these ones, I should say, because the new stuff is going to be fantastic. But if you all will remember, we played Fallout 76. I didn't like it. I called it repetitively in probably too much a loading screen simulator i've done a lot of research on it i've been listening to fallout lore podcasts and specifically i think the fallout lore podcast is what it's called and uh it's a great show you should watch it 100 percent. props to him uh robots awesome show but it's got me thinking about fallout and i was like you know we did play fallout 4 not too long ago and it just, I'm sick of Fallout 4. I've replayed Fallout 4 probably 30 times. I'm so tired of Fallout 4. And I could always go back and play New Vegas and 3, or even the originals, which are on Game Pass, if you didn't know. But I'm just, I'm ready for something new. So I started digging into Fallout 76 and seeing what all has been updated i know they've been rolling out updates but with such terrible launch you know it's awfully hard to come back from that in pr and most of the reviews now are positive and so i think if i download it on the xbox we start a new character and hopefully we don't have to struggle bust through a terrible opening section but if we do we do i think the in-game bits are going to be fun and they're all free updates so why not give it another shot? That being said, it does seem to be more stable. It does seem to load faster across all platforms. And I'm ready to give it another shot just to have something new that is Fallout Universe to play. Whether we do it alone or not, fuck it. That's, that's where we're at with that. Next up is the Apex Bash. Apex Bash is just a way for me to not type in Apex Legends and not just put Apex. I always feel like when I put Apex as the title with a dash and then some smirky comment, it doesn't feel full enough for me, but Apex Legends feels like way too much. So Apex Bash is just a way for me to say, hey, we're playing Apex with me and some other people. I will not be doing this title on videos that I'm playing by myself. Um, matter of fact, most of the time if I'm doing the playing by myself, I'm not going to be putting a title on that video that has a game in it, because we probably will change games. That being said, I have learned from that mistake in the past two weeks, where I keep changing games live. Facebook does not like it when you change games live, and it's in your title, because your title does not change on the saved video. Or maybe it does... One way or the other, it changes or it doesn't, and it fucks up the whole video. <laughs> I, however, don't want to break it down into two videos, so there will just be, like, gaming days, where we're just playing shit by ourselves or other people, and we're just bouncing around. Shit happens. It is what it is. Sometimes games like Halo don't want to cooperate with you, and the servers just suck. Same thing with Titanfall 2. Sometimes the servers just don't want to fucking work with you, which is something else I've been jumping back into. But... Mostly, Apex Bash is just going to be me and my friends hanging out and playing. It's not going to be just me live playing. Because there's no point in titling that. I'll probably change games and get bored of getting my ass stomped in Apex. The whole reason I even play the damn game is to hang out with my friends and have something to play with them. Right. Right. Redacted file. 
I guess, I guess I do still have a few tricks up my sleeve that I'm not quite ready. There are a few eggs left that are not quite good. So, that being said, again, if you guys want to stick around and see what they are, that's fantastic. But these actually, these two things don't have anything to do with the big projects, which is the whole reason that this fucking presentation was created. These are just two things that I put on here. And then after further thought, I thought... Maybe it's too much for one year. And then, but we'll get to that later. Maybe it's too much. It'd be overwhelming. And so I kind of pulled the plug on some things. This being one of them, and this being another. I mean, there's always a possibility that they'll come back, but maybe it's best not to know everything ahead of time. Moving on to live in action. Live in action is going to be like IRL stream. It'll be like vlogs, mini vlogs kind of, but they're just going to be of me doing day-to-day -day shit or nothing at all. Maybe I'm just sitting down chilling. Uh, I don't do these very often, and I probably still won't. I don't really do a butt-ton of interesting things that, you know, are worth sharing or that I think are worth sharing. I do go and do cool stuff. Uh, with friends and family and stuff, but that's that's personal time, so it doesn't really uh, correlate over for me. What I'm talking about is like if I'm like, ah, I want to go drive around. Yeah, fuck it, I'll stream while I'm doing that, and just kind of stream us driving around, listening to Facebook tunes. That sounds awful, actually. I'd like to scrap this project now. That sounds terrible. Facebook's music is awful. All right, first off, I just can't stand the ambient music that's playing right now on Facebook. It's fucking terrible. I don't understand how you could do... I just now thought about this. Oh, we're good. We're good. I just now thought, mm, maybe I'm muted right now. That would be bad. That'd be very, very bad. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking awful. And... I would probably cry live. But I'm not. So you don't have to watch that. Yay. But. <sighs> yeah. I, I, I would like to do more. Uh, streams of just like. Oh I need to do. Such and such. Hmm. The drive there is long. And boring. Let's talk to people. And I realize now that that's super dangerous and Facebook's music sucks and I don't want to do that. But I'm sure I'll still find a way to incorporate this uh, into day-to-day -day things every once in a while. But now, I think I've drugged you all along long enough. I think it's time to start pointing the finger at the new stuff you're actually here for the stuff that is going to take some time and is taking away from streaming time yeah i think you're here for that probably hopefully let me just scroll down a bit so that way i can know what i'm looking at first off though this stuff is big stuff for someone of my uh, viewership caliber right i don't get a lot of views, comments, things like that on my live videos. I do interact well with communities, um, via Discord and other things, but the times at which I'm able to stream usually don't sit well with others, so I usually get views after the fact, which is fantastic, and it shows that people are still interested in the content I make, even if they can't watch it live, which is great. But... I've always wanted to do more. Streaming to me always felt like a gateway. Um, a way to get my foot in the door for other things later on. But I really got tired of waiting for those other things. And so very early on when streaming and YouTube and everything else for me started, I started promising bigger things. And although I would make these things or make part of these things, 
I became too fearful of if it would never get seen. I don't really care if it gets seen anymore. I've come to accept the fact that to me this is more of a hobby that if it makes one person's day better, that's what's important. If one person sees this and it makes an awful day better, that's great. And I have those people. I know a, a few of them. And so if you're watching this now or later, the things coming next, although they take away from the streams and the content that make you smile, maybe the things that are coming do more than that. I know they're going to fulfill me and my need to create new things and bigger things. I've always felt like I wanted to do more than just be a face behind a camera. And now I'm making that opportunity for myself. I just hope that you guys see how worth it it is the way that I do when you realize how much time I'm not going to be streaming. So, that being said, there is potential for a big announcement at the end of next year. I'm not ready to say anything about it yet. But, if all goes well with next year, and the plans and the things I have slated, then I think there is room for a huge announcement that will umbrella and cover everything. And I've even teased at it already because I already have my mind set on this prospect. So, without further ado, let's introduce the first big project. I did put no vocals, motherfucker. You know, I I didn't want to be. Yeah, I mean, I put. Just restart that bitch. You know, you put parameters in and you expect them to follow them. It ruined a good moment. It's some bullshit. Definitely a TikTok in there or some shit. <laughs> I do want to present, though, the first of the big projects, and it's actually the smallest of these projects. Um, I've done a lot of shows and things before for stream that are half-assed. They're not to the par that I want them to be, not to the caliber, editing, or quality. This is not going to be one of those. None of these are going to be one of those. And that's why they're going to take time to even come out. You're going to hear updates about them, but you're not going to see anything from them for a while. It's going to take some time. It's three pretty big projects that I have to do on limited time, that I want to do on limited time. And so it's going to take some. So the first thing is, right, I clicked on, the first thing is a new show, a new podcast show, and this one's actually going to be a podcast. It's not going to be something you can find on Facebook. Um, I've been doing a lot of research into podcasting, and I'm going to pay for hosting. I'm going to put the podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And it's not a big podcast. It's going to be a once a month episode. I might sprinkle a couple things in there where like we'll have a week. I'll re release an episode every day in a week or whatever it happens to be. And so it'll be like, I don't know, uh, Halloween week because that's coming up. And it will just be every episode different people talk about Halloween. And, and that would be the month's episode. It would be that week. That's great. I've already got the first guest lined up. I'm really excited for it. I'm not going to talk about it right now. But 
yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. Um, this will be the first thing that comes out. This will be the first thing that you guys get to see. Um, which is crazy. Because this is just also new to me. Wanting to do something to this scale. But, regardless, this will be a monthly show. And it's not just going to be about gaming. It's going to be about interesting stories. Interesting conversations with people who maybe aren't even connected to the gaming world. Maybe they haven't played a game since they were eight. Maybe they play games for a living. This is going to be the show that kickstarts all the other things. It's a baby step. If I can do this, I can do what's next. And who knows, maybe if the Aronovitz show season one's fantastically received, we'll even do a season two, but for right now, season one, music and all is very, very retro 80s theme. And it is so much fun getting to work with uh, the people that I have planned, that I have reached out to. Um, it's going to be incredible. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I can do with some time and some dedication. I can't wait to show myself for the most part. But, I mean, you guys are here, so you're along for the ride. That's the first big thing. A once a month podcast episode. Big whoop. Well, things kind of really, really ramp up from there. The next thing is so early development that I don't even have actual artwork for it the way that I do for the other two things, this included. I had to piece together some artwork, some concept art for a cover that I don't even like. I don't, after looking at it for the past two days, I don't like it, but it's too late to change it. So, the artwork isn't really important on this next one. What is important is the thing itself, which is an actual show that's going to be available on YouTube for you guys to watch and enjoy on the Aronovich channel. Now, this isn't a gaming show. This isn't a podcast. This is a production show. I'm gonna shoot it, edit it, write it, and work. And it's the first of a few. So, this show is called Paradox. More specifically, it's called Paradox Light. And it is a three episode show that's gonna explore the idea of the simulation theory, which I am sure everyone is familiar with at this point, but it is the idea that we all live in a simulation. And I thought, how cool would it be to make a show where some poor soul is living this out alone? There's more story beats in there and there's more stuff in there, but you will have to watch it, to figure out what those are. And it's three episodes. So, I mean, uh, you know, it's not going to take that much time. You could wait until they're all out, binge it on a weekend, write a great comment, share it to your friends, let them binge it on a weekend, because this show is already half written. And that's crazy, because I didn't plan on writing it, any of this, until after the presentation. But I'm so excited about this show that most of it's already completed, except for shooting and editing, which is honestly the the worst, not worst, but the most time-consuming part, so I guess the easy part of this one is almost done, and I'm really excited for it. I hope it blossoms. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of creators out there that are doing big things, and, you know, I think it's important to realize that it's not just because they're big creators. It's because they're dedicated. So, let's be dedicated, and Paradox Life will come out in 2023. So is the Aronovich show. 
and so is the next thing. But first, let's take a look at some artwork. And this is just concept art. It's a general idea made with AI. I typed in Paradox Life the way that you see it on screen, and then I did put City after it, and this is what it came up with. Crazy, but cool. The next thing is something that's important. Um, the Aronovich show is serious slash silly, I expect, and then Paradox Life is a show scripted. This next thing is real and coming sooner than Paradox Life is. And that's not because of excitement, it's because the full line of questioning is already written and I just have to record it. The next thing is probably the most important thing to me of all of them. That's a mini documentary. Which at first seems kind of weird. Granted. But I'm doing a podcast, a TV level show. What's the next step? Movies? Oh, documentaries are kind of movies. So I'm doing a mini documentary about me. Um, there's some interesting behind the scenes stuff from the start of my content creation career up to now that a lot of people don't know and maybe they do know and they're just always unsure about it or maybe it's just time that I set the record straight on some things. So this series is going to be taking a look back. It's why it's called Looking Back, my true streaming story. It's going to take a look at the times that we went under the banner Gaming Pro, and why I switched names, what brought that on, and why did I pick the name I picked, and so many other things. I think you might be able to get why I'm pretty excited about this one, and why this is going to be done before Paradox. It's important. It's important to understand all of the side things, all the behind the scenes, and all the in front of the scenes things that have happened to understand what we're going to be doing next. But I really am excited to just finally get things off my chest. I'm also excited for this next year to be more honest on stream about who I am and who I want to be. This unlike Paradox, does have fully-fledged art, though. And and is even ready to roll out. I even used the old and new color scheme of burgundy red and orange, which is supposed to be gold, but without gradient, it's not. It's, it's orange. Government cheese yellow. And then the biggest thing, the thing that's going to take the most amount of time, another mini documentary, but this one's going to be longer and not just have me in it. What, you thought that I was only going to do content that just has me in it? Come on, I'll be in it, but not just me. There's an idea in my head about streamer separation and how a lot of the big streamers, the big names in content creation, don't appear to look down and pull others up with them. But as I've gotten more connected with streamers over the past couple months, I've realized that's not the case. And just in case anybody else has that thought, I wanted to diminish that thought. I wanted to extinguish it. And so this documentary is going to be focusing on streamers helping streamers. 
it's going to be focusing on people in different tiers of streaming from the bottom to the medium top levels I don't think I have enough pool to get a top streamer, but I definitely can get somebody on here who can talk about being able to do it full time. And in all honesty, content creation and streaming is a full time job. It is all you think about every day, every night. How can I do this better? What can I do next? And at the end of the day, you don't do anything with all of your thoughts all day you're still streaming but on top of the thoughts on top of the self conversations in your head it's also sharing commenting connecting with an audience having an audience to connect with in the first place doesn't happen overnight some people have went years without knowing anyone on the other side of the camera things like discord and whatnot they just make one and then leave it alone I left mine alone too long and as you all know, I deleted it completely. I primarily focus on four main Discord servers that I'm a part of, two of which are extremely public and you can join right now. And that's where you can reach me. That's where you can reach me the easiest is on Discord. This being the last big thing to announce, also has artwork and I think it's really cool um, I don't know why but I really like it I know that it doesn't a hundred percent go with it and because of my face you guys can't see everything so let me go away it's supposed to be an online world where these two people here are connected but This is going to have a lot more than two people in it. And I'm not including myself in the count either. So far, I have amassed a total of five streamers. That. And content creators. That I would like to have. At least as a segment of a question or two. And I think I can do it. I think we all can do it. Now if you thought I was done. I'm not even fucking close. Um. Just to recap, you're getting a podcast. You're getting a TV level show, hopefully. I'm not saying I'm that good, but I think I have enough friends that can help to get me there. You're getting a mini documentary. And then let's back this train up. Does that say 2024? I guess we did go two years in the future. I am stunning. Uh, it, ah, I'm stunned by the artwork. So let's take a look at the timeline. Shall we? As you can see here, I have 2022. We're going to continue our current randomness. And Call of Duty. Moving into 2023... The Aronovich Show, Episode 1, and Filming Paradox will drop at some point in the beginning. About halfway through 2023, Paradox will become begin its editing phase, and Looking Back will begin its filming. And then Paradox and Looking Back will release on the same day. I want to I wanna see if I can use releasing multiple videos on the same day to wiggle my way into viewership a little bit because i really am trying with these two things and they are really cool but they're also two totally different things going to be released on the same channel moving into 2024 connected online's production will begin that means writing uh, interviewing editing all of it then About halfway through, if not a little bit earlier, the Aronovich's show's last episode will air. The Aronovich show is roughly going to last six months. 
with a few of those month-long integration or week-long integration where you get a couple episodes more than normal so you're gonna get a slew of episodes i figure you'll at least get 12 or more and then top it all off it's not on here but at the end of 2024 connected online will come out it's mostly not on here because it ran out of room so then what comes next in 2025 and 2026 we've talked two years in the future why not go further well paradox may or may not be done and i've already said the aaron show if it's well received we'll come back for a second season maybe with a different theme like a different art style and era and then i don't know let me take a look at my notes because I've been keeping track of all my ideas lately. It's it's just I don't know. I can't help it. But Yeah. You know what's interesting is in my notes, Connected Online is a different documentary than the one that I had thought I had put down. Hmm. Interesting. Well, names and everything are subject to change, apparently, then. Or maybe I'll just film what Connected Online is supposed to be. I like that idea a lot better. Anyhow. Getting a lot of streamers together might be a lot harder for me at this point so i know it's a little late but i guess i am gonna drop one more bomb connected online has nothing to do with streaming according to my notes and i forgot about that and so i need to go back to the drawing board literally because there's a lot of documentaries and mini doc series and whatnot out right now about how technology is ruining our youth and people in general and yeah there's some really messed up stuff going on out there but there's also some really cool stuff and i don't feel like that that gets enough attention and that's what connected online is supposed to be. connected online is supposed to be a mini doc of people being friends online and only online some of my best friends I talk to all the time. I've met twice. Can you say the same? Do you have friends that just you don't see, but you talk to all the time? Maybe you've met them once, twice, got off for a beer or two. I know we all have one. Think really hard. Maybe shoot them a message. Going into 2025, I guess. Streamers United. We'll start production. I'll let you figure out what that is. Because, you know, you should be able to figure it out. Now, I have a list of things. Of what's next. What I want to do next. And honestly, none of them are worth talking about yet. The ideas aren't far enough along, and I haven't proved to myself that I can even do this much of a workload, so I think it's best just to bite my tongue and talk about what to do now instead of what next. So right now, I'm working on scripts, getting the guests, streaming, working 40 hours, and having a life. So all I'm going to ask of you guys are two things. Number one, please share and support the channel and specifically when these things come out. Because when these things come out, I'm taking time from doing something that I enjoy to try something else that I'm gonna enjoy. Or I hope I enjoy. I think I'm experiencing a malfunction. And I can't see what that was. I have no idea. 
Somebody shared the stream, but I don't know. I don't know who, so thank you for promptly sharing the stream when I asked for sharing and support. Um, but especially when these things come out, because I'm going to pour a lot of time and work into them, and I really would like to see that hard work not go to waste. And that's kind of the whole point, right? The second thing I ask is that you guys be patient with me. These projects are going to take a while. And I'm going to be stretching extremely thin. Thin. Stretching myself extremely thin. So I ask for your patience. But at the same time, I ask for you to keep on me about them. Tweet at me. At Aronovich. What's going on with Paradox? Or when's the first episode of the Aronovich show coming out? Things like that. Just to keep me on track. To remind me, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing other things rather than just one project. Because the way the timeline works out, some of these are going to have to overlap. And I'm going to have to multitask and focus on multiple projects at once. And I'm going to do my best, but things might get delayed. And that brings me to the last point that's on the screen, which is I didn't add exact dates to any of the projects. All of the projects are very up in the air as to when they come out because that gives me a cushion instead of a deadline. I gave you guys a year that it's coming out. At some point within this year, within maybe this time frame of the beginning, middle, end of the year, these things will be coming out. But with things overlapping and everything else, plus a lot of the filming for Paradox is supposed to be done outside and we're getting ready to head into winter, don't know that everything's going to be able to go smoothly on a schedule and I don't want to be a game developer who keeps pushing my projects back for years because it's not ready yet or because whatever this way I have a deadline but it's liquid enough that so long as I release it within a year I'm set and I'm happy with that result it'll also keep me motivated because I won't feel rushed I will feel like I'm able to give you a good product and not need to rush the project rush things through and I hope you guys feel the same way I want to give special thanks to all of these people who have in some way supported me or uh thrown things at me and that didn't make sense but these people have inspired me via ideas or support and I just want to give them back so I have a list of most of the list uh, you were able to figure out where they go so I'm going to leave you guys with that and I'll be seeing you guys again soon with streams and updates and Hopefully, new podcast. Because that is the first thing to roll out next year. And that's sooner than you think. We're in October. The rest of this year is about to fly by. Speaking of bye, I'll see all of you guys later. For now, I'm just going to let you guys stew over the last two slides. Starting with this one, that way you guys can see everybody's names. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys very, very soon, either behind a camera or releasing some awesome shit.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Newbies of Karen smashed all the buttons that way we can accrue more guests. And we can accrue more viewers of the new content to come. Until next time, I am the narrator.